All right, this is a 2004, right, Ali? Polaris 330 Magnum, and the all-wheel drive stopped working. The light comes on, it just doesn't work. It's not the typical problem that I've seen other videos on with, um, I don't know if it's a wiring issue or whatever the case may be for that. This one, the wire's actually broken right where it goes into the differential. And uh, it's an expensive part to buy the whole, basically you're buying, you're gonna, you have to buy the side cover of the differential, which has a, an electromagnet in it. Like the old versions had the electromagnet in the hub. This one has it in that side cover. The wires are pulled out. I, I don't think you could fix them on your own. Uh, the part's about 450 bucks, and that's from Parkzilla. That's what I go through. Normally their parts are a little cheaper. Um, I found a company online that fixes them, and I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but for like about 120 bucks, you send it to them and they fix it. Extreme off-road. And they put new wires in it or repair it, and saw the pictures of their repairs they look pretty good so that's what we're going to do as far as getting the differential out you're going to have to take this top cover off because that's where the plug is that's the female end of the plug for the all-wheel drive or the uh, electromagnet down in the differential you can't reach it from the bottom so don't even try you've got to take out the lower bracket for the oil cooler um it's a little thin bracket that's it laying right there. And you gotta take the top bolts out for the oil cooler, probably cut some wire ties or holding your cooler lines. And then you can move this around. And it's enough that you could tip it, send it out that side, the left side. These things are only plastic. You can bend them enough to get it out of there. Putting it back in after you have the wires done, of course, be careful so you don't pull them out again. But everything else is pretty straightforward. My daughter had this apart before I get home from work. So the steering knuckles, axles have to come out, everything like that. And, uh, and you're good to go. We drain the oil out of it. It seems like there's a good bit of moisture in it. I don't think it's ever been changed. It doesn't really have a pile of hours on it. But this is the side cover right here. We're going to take it apart. I'm still doing these with my iPhone. I did a bunch of other videos and I lost them. So I'm starting out with this Polaris. I'm going to do another Can-Am video. But it's probably going to be the last one I do. But I'll get to that after this. I'm turning it. I think it's probably going to need a little more than just this repair. I ordered seals for it today. Obviously, it was before I had it out. I think it's going to need bearings, too. It doesn't feel terrible. We'll see when we get it apart. I know there's a lot more going on in there. There's a roller switch inside there. It's all relatively inexpensive, except for the side plate. It's like 450 bucks, no matter where you get it from. It's around that price. And that company, that Extreme Off-Road, I'll try to put a link in. I don't know. I've never done that before. Uh, to their website. You just pay them. You pay the shipping ahead of time. Ship it out to them. They say two or three day turnaround. Things these days, I don't know if the shipping will be that quick, but regardless, 120 bucks is a hell of a lot better than 450 or 444, I think it was. But we'll see. Uh, see how quick they get it back to us. So if we're going to take this apart here, there's a little example of the oil that came out of it. Again, it, it's thin as it can be. I have the right, I don't know if it's just the angle drive or whatever. There's different oil for the for the rear end and the front end of this thing. Um, so maybe it's just that thin, but it, it doesn't it doesn't look good. The vent tube was on it. The seals don't look horrible. I can't judge it by the oil on it because we blew a Kohler line at one time and had to rebuild the motor in it. Then we should have did a video on that, but we didn't. Uh, so let me get into this case here and then I'll... I'll start the video back up. I'm still using my iPhone. Even though we have another camera, I just don't feel like using it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like all you have to do is take these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts right here off. I'm going to throw up my parts washer when I'm done, so I really don't care what falls in it. I know there's a roller clutch in here. It's a pretty neat design, how it works, and I only know that from reading about it today. I'm by no means an expert on these things, but I think it's actually pretty simple to work on. But. These are 916s. Right, Allie? No, half inch. Alright, let me go get a pry bar.
I think the only seal, there's no gasket here. I think the only seal is, is an O-ring. Kind of, I guess, similar to that stator plate, if you ever had one of them apart. I don't really want to bend on this. It looks like they got a spot here to pry on. Yeah, it didn't take much effort. It pretty much just, I probably could have pulled it apart in my hands. So, right away I got something laying in here that I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's like it's copper. And... This is the part, I mean, there's rust in here and everything, so I'm already of the impression that we're probably going to be putting a lot more parts in this. This is that roller clutch. If you pull this out, and I don't know how to get it out, I'm not going to, I mean, pull it right up. But more or less, there's rollers. You can see the, it's a little bit wider here. We're open up there. The roller's sitting there. Then when you magnetize this, when this magnetizes, when the magnet's in here, it's in the case, um, it pulls this. Uh, I don't even know what it's called, to be honest with you. But it pulls on this and just locks the roller clutch and then it locks the all-wheel drive together. But there's obviously was water in it. So you can see there's rust on here. And it's actually pretty, you can feel it, it's pretty heavy. So I don't know how bad these rollers are. This thing didn't spend a lot of time in all-wheel drive. Um, we'll see if we get this apart. We'll have a look at everything. Parts to fix it are relatively inexpensive. This, if I had to guess, this is just the, goes from the magnet, I don't know. But, let me get it apart and have a good look at everything. This looks like it's only plastic or some type of composite. It's certainly not metal. I know the replacement ones are aluminum. But to replace these rollers in this cage here, it's, it's not a lot of money. It's only got an O-ring on it. But there's a lot of rust, even this, uh, even the bearing here, little Torrington bearing, it's all rusted and seized up. So this thing's got more issues than just the wires pulling out of it. I guess if it had a little more maintenance done to it, it'd be better. But we didn't always own it. It's not on us. Maybe it wasn't four-wheel drive more than I thought. But again, it doesn't have a lot of hours on it. I'm feeling the rollers now, and they can feel they're pretty smooth, but... Well, let me start to pull this apart, and, and uh, we'll come back to you again. Okay, so we managed to pull this apart. I think normally if it was well-maintained, uh, it would slide right out. I had to grab it with needle nose pliers. I worked it real slow, but um, here's the rollers. This thing's just roached. Everything about it's trashed. They're all corroded, all rusty. Can you see that in their alley? See all the rust on it? There's no saving something like this, so... I'm going to go on Amazon. I think East Lake Axle sells a kit. I've used their stuff before. It's usually relatively cheap. I'm certainly not going to buy the parts from Polaris. I don't know. Maybe I'll step up to that aluminum one. It's not like it failed. It's just contaminated with water. and It just ruined everything. Everything. I don't... I mean, the cage is good, but the kits I saw came with everything. It came with the roller, the kits... There's some type of spring in here. I forget they called it a... I heard one guy refer to it as an H-spring or H-clip. Uh, I still didn't look up what that plate is called. So everything in here feels good. We will be able to clean it up anyway. I think it's aluminum. And actually it looks feels like that's the ring gear. And I don't have the whole thing apart. It's obviously the whole thing's coming apart now because it's just, it's just roached. There's nothing... Nothing good going on inside here. Can't fix any of that. Uh, so we'll get the rest of it apart. But this is... Over here, Alex. I just have this in a parts washer cleaning it up. There's just a snap ring that holds this, this plate in, which I still haven't looked up what it's called. But watching other videos, reading other things, this plate, like the newer Razors, again, this is a 2004 Magnum. The Rangers, the Razors, the differentials, even though they all look the same, I don't think they are. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but it's just something you'd have to do some research. Uh, but they all seem to have basically the same setup. So you take this snap ring out and this plate will come out. But I've seen the videos where these break, these break off, and they make stronger, uh, where this mates with the cage. Actually, there's more of these fingers on here. And 
that's just a bunch of stuff that's pretty prevalent on YouTube and on the internet. But this thing's, I'm looking at the bearings, they're all rusty. This thing's completely shot. So I'm going to see what parts I can find, what I can order. I don't know what. I don't know if this is something that can be replaced or not, or if I could clean it up, maybe. I'll have to see, but it's, again, there's nothing good going on here. So I'm going to take it apart, and I'll make some more clips to this video until I figure out how to edit things and make them flow a little better. I guess they'll just be choppy, but the point of the video when I started was trying to save anybody a couple bucks and show them that you could send these things out and have them fixed. You know, maybe you could fix it yourself. Um, I can't. I just, uh, I don't even know what, how you'd get it out of there, but maybe when I take the snapper, it'll pull out, whatever. I'm still sending it out. So that's where we're at. Let me get the rest of this thing apart and see what it looks like. All right, the only thing left in this case was the pinion gear and the pinion bearing. And that's easy to get out. Already. So just use a good set of punches and just catch the edge of the... Just about get it on the tooth of an angle. It's not horrible to get out. You just tap it with a decent sized hammer. And you don't really have to beat it up so much, and it'll just kind of slide out. And I'm just going to press the bearing off. There's a bushing inside the case. It actually looks okay. It's the same material as this right here. Uh, some of the other bearing kits come with that bushing. This one didn't. I thought it did, but it didn't. Unless I missed something here in the box. So, we're moving along here. Um, just got a lot of cleaning up to do. And I'll just start putting it back together. So, I'll be back.